This video has a number of different elements. Wasn't supposed to be that way, but I kept thinking of things that might be of interest. Starting out with kayaks. The kayaks are really selling well. So I decided to make 10 kayaks. Then I couldn't quite remember how I did a couple little incidentals the last time. So I thought, let's just stop, spend a day, figure out the best way to make these kayaks, the most efficient way. And as I did that, I took a photo with the cell phone on each step. So now I've got a history. Now the next thing is how these kayaks have evolved, the design. If you look at what I've done in the past and where they are now, I think it's a vast improvement. Square magnets. People ask, how do you use the square magnets? Well, in this video, I show a number of examples of using the square magnets while I'm doing these kayaks. Now next, especially right now, I thought was timely. I just read an article in Smithsonian of how copper kills viruses. So I put a link to that article in the description below. And then finally, for those who have been cooped up, you know, the last few weeks, right now you can download the full version of Forming Copper. That's a 60 minute video. And if you couple that with the videos that I've done here in the shop for YouTube, you'll have everything that I've published on Forming Copper. These are the kayaks I did in 2012. You can find a link to that video below in the description. Some of the techniques are similar to what I'm using today. Now this is my kayak, which I used somewhat as a model for the latest kayaks. The newer kayaks are longer with a narrow beam. Now what's challenging is the simplicity of this design. That means that anything out of line is going to be noticeable. This is a group of the latest kayaks ready for finishing. These are my patterns for the top part of the new kayaks. I needed to pull the side rods in closer to the circle. Didn't want to put any heat on the magnets. Put the blocks of steel between the rods and the magnets. I've got to remember this because I see that I can use this in a number of situations. This photo is going to be very helpful to me. Getting the angle just right for the sides. And this makes a significant difference. And now I won't have to fumble around with trial and error. The same thing with this photo. Here I'm set up to attach the center rib. Attaching the lower shape or the hull to the deck. Now right side up. The base has given me fits. Centering has been the problem. What I've come up with is overkill. But in the long run, it saves time and frustration. Finding the center of the circle and drilling a 1 8 inch hole. Now here I'm showing how I use magnets on the drill press rather than clamps. Gas welding the cut nail to the 1 8 inch stem. Because of the hole in the base, I know that the cut nail will be centered. I can go ahead and braise it together. Now, I wouldn't go out and buy $250 worth of magnets to hold down this steel disc, but I have them and it works. The final step is to braise the kayak to the cut nail, all the while keeping everything straight and balanced.